hello, beautiful being. How are you doing out there? It's really nice to connect with you. It feels to me like it's been a long time and an awful lot's changed since the last time I was doing one of these channel downloads. So um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for sharing this space with me. I've got lots of, um, yeah, channeled information to come through. Um, I've already started doing it. So yeah, lots of information to come through about possibly what to expect in the coming weeks, especially going towards the end of the year, the final month of 2021. And you can probably tell by the tone of my voice, it's all looking pretty good, <laughs> uh, which might be a surprise, um, considering the way things took a sudden turn, according to, um, you know, our media channels or whatever. Um, or it may not be a surprise. Maybe you were expecting it. So let's jump in and get yourself a nice cup of tea or cacao or some herbs if you're sitting down and wanting to take some notes or maybe you're out on a walk. Whatever you're doing is perfect for you right now. You can just let what I'm saying wash over you or you can actively kind of participate and take some notes. So if you're new to listening to me or working with me, I'm Nancy. I work with lots of things, but mainly master plants in the Amazon. I live and work in the Amazon and I help people transform themselves into their best selves through their conditioning uh, into yeah full alignment and empowerment essentially um yeah so I've already tapped in and it just felt like the right time to bring this information through immediately so I might go a bit quiet at points it's just that I'm receiving information they tend it tends to usually come through as visuals and audios to me so sometimes my human brain has to take a minute to catch up with that and uh then transmute it, transmute it, transmit it in, in the language that we understand. All right, so I'm just tuning in and grounding now. Okay, so this, this podcast episode is really about the solar eclipse that's coming up for the new moon in Sagittarius, um, December the 3rd and 4th. And take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's uh, channeled information that could be relevant to you and a way to navigate through through the energies that are in the field at the time. So the first thing that's coming through is the energy that we've been working with a lot, the energy of endings leading to new beginnings. But this time it's a bit different and kind of less painful than it may have been previously especially in the last sort of year or even two years because it's possible it's possible that you've really outgrown some stuff just bear with me as well because sometimes this information comes they give me the information uh as as it is it is a definite but I'm also aware of how I pass that information on because we all have free will, and so nothing is set in stone. Okay, so they're saying to me, you've outgrown some stuff. Maybe that resonates with you, maybe that doesn't. And the energy of sort of finishing up a process that's been quite slow, showing me people moving in slow motion <laughs> amongst dinosaurs. <laughs> um, so something that was really bugging you, is probably coming to an end now because you've done the work and you've been awaiting this kind of breakthrough but there's an awareness that you know there's no going back now and you've you've been pushed into this position of I'm not going back I am powerfully moving forward that could be a mantra that you want to take with you for the next two weeks and perhaps the whole month of December really powerfully moving forward you know you're supported there's this really, really clean new energy of pushing ahead, just getting this kind of whoosh visual and audio. 
understanding you've got an understanding now how life teaches you and how to do the work in that sense instead of being stuck in the suffering that poor me victimhood why is all this happening to me just kind of asking instead how is this teaching me how can I grow from this there may there may be some some pressure or tension but um, there's this energy that more and more people are going to understand that a really big breakthrough is coming especially from now into the into up to the solstice the solstice in december depending where you are winter or summer solstice okay so this new new beginning powerful energy of new beginning it's almost like how um something is born out of chaos that's a real completion they're showing me the snake eating its tail. Trust and, and trusting in yourself. So that's been a theme that's been going on for quite a while, really tuning into and learning to trust ourselves. And many more people are learning to harness that fire and hear that truth and trust themselves, even though all the writing on the wall might be telling them the contrary. They know that their internal satnav <laughs> is 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 correct, and it's a good time now to really look at how far you've come. Chart that on a map. There's a lot of um, aviation <laughs> imagery coming through to me, and I can see like the plane going across the map and all these dots. Looking back over the dots, because really so many of us have come so far in a very short space of time to the point where the energetic work that we are doing is actually really rippling out to help other people and we don't even have to try and do that so always when we work on ourselves that has an, an immediate effect a ripple effect but now it's kind of gone up exponentially so before, maybe it made sort of like a 5% difference. I don't know where that number comes from, but anyway, 5% difference. And now it's making a 95% difference. So your attitude, your trust in yourself, you choosing to be in, in the light is making a huge difference to people in ways that you or I and they don't even know. So that's amazing. Thanks for that. We're already helping each other out. And there's an energy of really understanding the, the potential, I must say, to really understand a lot more about yourself, which is bringing much confidence through. And there's a lot of support available to be able to apply your wisdom and your strengths to, to lead a more fulfilling, aligned life in your truth. If you're feeling that that's that's the way you want to go, really breaking through and away from stuff that just doesn't serve you in ways that you never might have thought possible before. So maybe you were, you know, trapped in a relationship or a job or a dynamic and you just thought there's no way I, I can change this. I'm just going to have to put up with it. But that is very different. There's an opportunity for that to be very different now. Okay, all right, so the bigger picture, the bigger perspective. It's possible that some details are missing when it comes to you observing, observing your life, looking down, like the eagle looking down on the terrain. There might be some details missing, but maybe that doesn't bother you so much now. So it's really this energy of, yeah, you can consider the details of where you are headed or think that you're headed, your next adventure. So maybe looking into next year, maybe you're thinking, right, I've really got to travel or I really want to do this or that or whatever. You've got an idea on the timeline of your life and start thinking about how you might make those, those things come together instead of thinking about the obstacles, 
we're being purposely distracted by obstacles at the moment that make people just go, oh, I can't think about that. I haven't got time for that. So I'm going to focus on something else. Um, and but but they're saying to me, just <laughs> keep your eyes on the prize. And don't worry about all of the details. Get into the energy of what is inspiring, what is calling you now. Even if it seems really wild and unattainable, there's something in you that's seeking it. And it is also seeking you for that reason, because it's directly connected to you. So again, as the theme that keeps coming up, not knowing the hows or the whys, but just know what you want and focus on that. It's not even really just about want. It's it's about a feeling you have, a pulling, a pulling towards something. And maybe, yeah, you don't know why, but you you know that it's right. And maybe that voice is just getting so loud now because you've been doing the work and clearing the other energetic junk out um you know you know how to block out that noise and get into that energy of of being inspired and the the magic of life essentially okay so showing me seeds again there's, there's a lot of potential in each and every one of us right now and some people are really busting out of those seeds and busting up through the earth and growing into huge oak trees very quickly or growing into other things very quickly. But we all go at the right pace for us. And it's all perfect. Nobody is doing better or worse or whatever. There's no comparison here. We're all playing our part. And we're all helping each other out in one way or another, even if it's, if it's somebody presenting a, a resistance something for you to rub up against um, with your opinions or ideas or whatever. It's all showing you something. We're able to be much more, um, much more scholastic in our lives and our experiences. <sighs> uh-huh. So you've come this far and how far this is is right for you. So a lot of nature imagery can see bamboo now so it's it's about yeah being strong in who you are strong tall flexible even so that's why yeah don't focus too much on details there's no need to focus too much on details it's almost like the details are none of our business we we just need to know where we're headed and show up and go in that direction and the rest will fall into place Mm -hmm. So being open to to making different choices, changing changing your mind, and really following that intuition, your gut. Okay, this is quite an emphatic. Don't use your head. Don't use your head too much, because there is a, a deliberate um, agenda to confuse and hypnotize and many people it's not their fault have been pulled in by that and nobody is immune to that but it's not really a time now for using your head it's about using the other the senses use the senses in the body stay in the body let the energy come to you okay there are many ways and many paths. And what you need is to trust yourself. Trust yourself and, and what you're feeling and your direction. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's a time where anything's possible. Anything's possible. Healing illnesses, fulfilling lifelong ambitions. You know, we are creating our own timelines and realities. I am aware of how that sounds as I'm saying it. Um, but, you know, it <laughs> reality is not what we thought it was. Just put it that way. Okay. So there's, 
there's still potential for working on managing our own energy. So you, if you find that your energy likes to go particularly low or particularly high or can be quite changeable, as with me, my, my energy can change in the blink of an eye. Finding alignment and that balance in the middle, trying to stay in that kind of in that happy place. <laughs> um, finding alignment to your truth. It's not really about the happy place because I can be happy in all places, but just that kind of consistent management of your energy so that you're not pulled off guard. Guard's not the right word. You're not pulled out of alignment by other people's words, energy ideas about reality okay so okay this sounds contradictory but but it's not there's a subtle difference here so while not focusing too much on big on details fine details giving yourself a plan and some deadlines so that you can connect with what is calling you but you don't have to do a lot of work for it but just having a kind of loosely planned <laughs> road trip <laughs> it's what they're showing me a loosely planned road trip and yeah deadline so each day I'm going to do this or each week I'm going to do this um just to help to keep you on track okay so that's in alignment with keeping your energy in alignment And, and if you do choose to do that, just, again, really trusting yourself. Even if you don't understand the intuition that's coming through um, while you're kind of plotting your roots, um, you know, you can trust it even if you don't understand it. That's the energy that's coming through. A lot of support. A lot of support and energy. A lot of energy. Wow. Okay. All right, so there's, there's, there's a possibility of finding ways to attain what you thought was not possible before, but now it is possible. There's this really strong energy of, like, I can only describe it as magic. Like, I'm seeing it as a, a really bright light out in the cosmos, like, like a gateway, like a portal, that is, is, it is just potent positive energy so you might find ways opening up that you just go oh my god I can't believe it that's incredible that that's opened up now it's it's like your higher higher self is you're catching up with your higher self and it's calling you forward it's found the way You've, it's possible that you're manifesting something that you'd almost given up on or you maybe didn't really believe in the first place. And also, yeah, what is it that you really want to create now? There's a lot of security on offer around that now. You're free, you're independent. And don't forget that. You're not even one in a million. You are absolutely unique. There is no one and nothing else in existence, anything like you. So it's time for you to absolutely 100% unabashedly be you. It's almost like, yeah, tapping into, you're inspired by, by you, <laughs> You're aligning to your higher self and that's enlightening you. There's that energy available now where you, you realize or you could possibly be realizing that, yeah, the truth of it, that you are it. You've got the power. You are the seed. You are the architect. You are the creator. All of the power is in you and each and every one of us. All of the control that has been exerted over us um you know if you're here now listening to this the chances are that you really understand that there's something else going on here and all of that is is falling away
yeah and not needing that sort of pat on the back anymore you know that yeah you feel this kind of connection and inspiration good good <laughs> i like that oh, well that's the energy that's available anyway okay so okay looking at december now again all right so deep transformation it's beginning around now all the energy is there for it around now around the divine feminine and that's in all of us it doesn't matter about the construct of gender or sex in love yeah that kind of maiden energy but it's going to be really deep. Perhaps facing if there's any shadows around the heart. But it's an opportunity to mature in that way around relationships around your heart. Okay, they just keep saying deep transformation, deep alchemy. Um, if you allow yourself to let go of your suffering... Mm, letting go of what's not in your truth so sometimes we hold on to things that don't serve us without realizing it they give us a false sense of security so kind of shedding a skin now they're showing me the number three three which i think means that's moving ahead to march so between now and march and there's a possibility for this process to be taking place and it can be a beautiful it is a beautiful process but um just just going with that process don't hold on too tight there's some really big life answers available as you gain an even deeper understanding of yourself over the over the next next three four months potentially and yeah, there's this really huge energy of attracting, manifesting, creation. It's like for every single one of us, our light, our vibration is mega amplified, seeing like <laughs> huge speakers and huge sound waves. Okay, so be very aware of your thoughts at this time okay be very aware of what you're thinking what you're saying to yourself and what you're putting out into the universe thoughts are powerful too okay so <laughs> i can't believe i'm going to say this verging on toxic positivity and if you don't know what that is toxic positivity is almost like being naive and being in denial but it's really important now because we are vibrating at such a I don't know, is velocity the right word? That's the word they're giving me. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's going out, out into the universe. So we've got to, you've got to fake it to make it. Um, if you're not really feeling uh, the, I don't know, I don't like this term positive and negative, but anyway, if you're not really feeling the high vibes, you've got to try and make yourself right now because you are going to create and attract whatever you're thinking and feeling right now. So <laughs> I'm always the one that says toxic positivity. Um, and what's the other one? Um, bypassing, spiritual bypassing is like a really bad idea. <laughs> so um, I feel like I'm being served my own medicine. But now, now you've got permission for the next few weeks to be doing that because this, this energy is huge and you, you've got to convince yourself if you're not naturally in that state that you are the creator, you are the architect. All right, they're showing me, um, they're showing me like, like kids playing with Lego. <laughs> um, like they're creating their own little world, their own little universe and it's like that don't don't be adding things into into your game that you don't want because perhaps you've got no idea how powerful you are even though maybe you're getting into that 
um, your channels are opening and yeah, you get most people are starting to understand how powerful they are and how much power there is in our connections. So even though this time there seems to be an ever growing gulf between people and their ideas and their opinions and realities are splitting and stuff, lots of people are actually realizing we are all connected and but we're all integral and really important, powerful channels in ourselves, important vessels in ourselves. But there is no kind of me and you at the same time. <sighs> yeah, you're ready to bring what is calling to you into your life. So don't call in the stuff that, that you don't want. And that, that's one of those sneaky things. Sometimes we don't realize we're doing it. So just be really wary of that. And they're just showing me like this huge funnel, like in the cosmos and all of everything that's possible, just like pouring down into this huge funnel and pouring down onto the planet. So what you're sending out, the signals you're sending out, you're not only attracting for you, but you're attracting for everybody. So it's really beautiful and really important that all that good stuff pour in <clears throat> all right so still still showing me kids playing it's kind of like um a feeling of more more grown upness <laughs> more independence yeah there's a real energy of remembering who you are my favorite saying like you've been through a process and perhaps healed something big that there's possibly been coming back and forth over the last year or two years or so. I know you're ready for this huge upgrade. And it's not so painful now because you're a bit more grown up. It's just, you know, it's just shedding skin and so... You've got a fearlessness to you when it comes to change and being being more grown up. Okay, good, 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 good. Sounds like we're doing pretty well all in. Um, well, it feels, more importantly, it feels like we're doing very well. Okay, so a lot of transformation in December, finishing up. 2021 a lot of alignment a lot of souls aligning connecting so just be sure to take care of yourself make sure to make time for yourself to be alone to manage your own energy and to manifest your dreams mm -hmm. believe 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 in yourself believe in your loved ones even the ones who are addicted to the story the narrative the old the old stories believe in them to root for them have compassion for them but just protect yourself there is there is really more than enough energy to just go around now so so you might feel like it's it's easier now to be a boost for others You've got more energy available to you to also support others and put a smile back on their face and give them some hope or, you know, find the funny side and share that. And hopefully others will be doing that for you too because we, we are human at the end of the day. We do have our ups and downs. Okay, so really new possibilities in the air, in the energy if you tune out the noise all right so that's important tuning out the noise just again coming back to that that positivity dare i say toxic positivity just like no that's not for me right now not having it just not having it cut that conversation dead turn off whatever it is you're watching or listening to if it's you know in any way gonna cause a virus infecting your your you know higher vibration so tuning out that noise. 
and just hold this light, hold this vibration for, for two weeks and just do your best. Do not let it slip for a second. So sometimes we can say, oh, I'm allowed to have a bit of an off day or whatever. And yes, absolutely. But not, not at the moment. <laughs> that's the message that's coming through. So don't slip for a second. You can have everything you want. <laughs> you can create the life of your dreams. But you can't slip for a second in the next coming weeks, certainly up until the full moon. Um, if you can hold it for longer, even better. Um, but you just got to hang on in there. So it's like <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. And if you need to remind yourself, just that abracadabra, what you think, what you speak, you absolutely create. It's going to manifest in a matter of seconds. I've been witnessing that myself recently like manifesting actual people into my life um to you know show me the way on certain things so everything is so amplified and so quick to change but because reality takes place inside of our our own minds um we're all kind of it's quite wild <laughs> we're coexisting but also having our own experiences Okay, so they're saying you really don't have to do any more than that unless you want to. You know, you don't have to be doing extra long rituals. Sometimes when there's an energy of manifestation, there's some advice that comes through about tuning into this and doing your rituals and journaling, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, which is absolutely great. Um, but they're saying you don't have to do that right now. It's almost like there's the energy and the vibration that's there with that is enough for now. So unless you're finding it hard to, to, to stay up, um, you don't, you don't need to do that. It's like, if you can just do it sort of like light daydreaming for your, for your plans and what you want to bring in, you know, daydreaming, how nice is it to just sit and daydream or, um, there's a practice of journaling. I don't know what it's called where you write your life, a day in your life or whatever, as if, you write as if, and it's your sort of dream outcome, your dream day, your dream meetings with people, all that sort of stuff. So if you need a boost in that area, you can do some of those things. Okay, okay. Uh, so it's about just being in the energy of what you want and what you want to create. There's a huge drive on separation and distraction and you just got to ignore it. You've just got to ignore it at all costs. Okay, so they're saying to me, it's like, yeah, not holding on too tightly to anything. So it's like when you're having a nice time in a restaurant and you order your food and you carry on your conversations and then you don't think about the food you've ordered and then it arrives because you, and you, you don't have to give it any more thought than that. That's where we're at now which is amazing. So start talking, thinking, being, living just as if. And if you find that your vibration and thoughts are heavy or low or dark, then you can up your practices, absolutely. Singing, yeah, write your life story. But just, and absolutely don't say those fears or those things out loud. And that, that can be difficult if you're a talker and you need to talk to process things or whatever. But just for these few weeks, this month, just zip, zip, zip. <laughs> we're, we're not allowed to be saying those things because it's all kind of going out into the cosmos and, and will will come back manifested. Okay. Oh, that feels like transmission end. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for being here. I hope that you find this podcast episode helpful. Um, still shadow banned on Instagram. Um, so I've not really been hitting the social media too much for that reason, but, um, all of my information about how to take part in what I'm doing in person 
will be in the show notes and on my website foreveralchemia.com um, I'm always available if you want to email me or reach out I've got a new moon magic ceremony to help you yeah rest recharge relax grow and expand find what's in alignment it's a shamanic based moon ceremony to clear out your energetic clutter and yeah get you get you into a really comfortable safe space in yourself I do new and full moon magic ceremonies every month so that you can buy a ticket for that on Eventbrite or through my website uh yeah and then there'll be the full moon coming up the Gemini I think it's Gemini yeah <laughs> and a solstice ceremony as well uh, later in December, just before Christmas. So yeah, I've also got a course coming up in January, which will be online. I've got lots of stuff coming up anyway. It'd be really amazing to connect with you, uh, yeah, more personally. And yeah, these podcasts are designed to support the moon ceremonies that I do, because when I started channeling, they just started taking up too much space in the moon ceremony. So now by having a podcast, you can refer to it as you're going forward on your journey and have that information before, during and after the moon ceremony as well. And the moon ceremonies support people energetically in whatever they're going through, wherever they're headed, whoever they are, everybody is welcome. Get lots of all positive feedback from those actually. So it's really wonderful, as, as amazing as it would be to um, have these in person. It's not really possible right now. I'm in the Amazon, uh, but online is a great gift. And once upon a time, 22 years ago when I started this work, that would not have been possible. So if that feels, if any of that feels like something that resonates with you, it'd be amazing to connect. And I look forward to all of the stuff that's to come. Best of luck and love and light for wherever you're at on your journey. And thank you for showing up as you are, who you are, wherever you are. Because everything that you're doing now to help yourself and heal yourself is serving the greater good. So well done. Speak to you soon. Bye.